Hello there, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to another episode here on Passy. Just getting an absolute pleasure to have you. Thank you very much for joining us. I have been playing up a little bit on the Apex uh, Legend kind of bandwagon since the game came out yesterday. I've actually enjoyed a good few matches by playing it. I've actually been enjoying the gameplay so far. But something is frustrating me, something that annoys me, and I don't think they I don't think they've thought this through, but I think it's something that should actually be considered. In the actual purchasable content for Apex Legends, there is a Founders Pack. Founders Pack is a great idea. Most games that actually start off like this, since you go on like, it's free to play, play as much as you like, but if you're really enjoying it, would you mind buying this pack? Just as I said, you say, like, you've said you bought a game for what the price was is, as long as you got the appreciation out of it. And Founders Packs tend to include things like all the future legends and something else. Maybe like in-game currency and future legends. That's that's essentially what a founders pack should be. That's what it's actually been done so far as. It's been done with um Brawlhalla, it's been done with Paladins, it's done with Smite, it's done with and these are these are all games that are doing extremely well for themselves, uh, even though they may not be the the most commonly most recognized name within their genres. But what they decided to do with this one was uh, in-game currency and a bunch of skins. And a badge a badge for founders specifically you only get if you buy the founders pack that's the only thing that makes this particularly unique this is bullshit at 25 pounds it should not be a founders pack a founders pack is something like this i want to find one from the actual store just have i'll grab one i'll grab the paladins one because i already have the paladins one myself i bought that back whenever it came, first came out as uh whenever it's open beta kind of what came out and i enjoy i was i said you looked at them and was like i do not want to have to be rotating in my characters and buying ones as it go along i like being able to characters with two unlockable characters in your game, Apex, um, you don't. Like, I, I, I have got the presumption that it is not going to be the only legends in the game. You intend to put more legends in as the game goes on, or mo essentially modifications of those right characters, but you can buy a different version of them. Essentially, I can see that being definitely part of your business model. But if you do that as part of your business model, you kind of have to take into account that people at the very beginning are going to want to have gotten the benefit of actually being there at the very beginning who supported you whenever this game came out for free what we're we looking for here um let's see um let's want to go with paladins fucking easy one i can remember paladin and now they do have uh their battle passes which are the, the yearly pass one and i think they actually include the all characters in their battle pass ones but their founders pack was literally every legend or every hero that we add into this in the future we will include you you get them yeah like that's 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 just a given of course obviously obviously you're here whenever we just like started the game so why would we actually even think of playing about that where is it champions pack 25 that's actually for 35 characters so you're what you're one to charge 25 pound for in-game currency whenever you can actually get I'm trying to find it is the founders pack still listed there because it would be whenever i purchase it it might still be there no uh, i don't know they don't actually have it still listed there it's annoying because i actually um i did buy it back whenever it was there but the uh, champions pack is you're getting 35 characters for the same amount of money for comparable cash you're getting more currency as well i'm i can't i'm, I'm not i'm not on board with this particular tactic this is this is the things that will actually make or break uh, Apex as a game, in my opinion, I think uh, the, it's the stuff that's actually going to make us stick around or abandon it as soon as the next thing comes along. If you really, really want to be the Overwatch Battle Royale, uh, think about what your future is going to be with the gameplay. As it is now, it's twelve thousand in-game currency to buy the two new guys for twenty-five pound, which is the cheapest way. By the two characters, I think it like I think they're eight hundred uh like buyable or premium currency to actually do that. It's it's not I'm not on board with that. I don't. It's a very quick way to get me to move on and not care. Whenever I've actually kind of invested myself, I immediately picked this up and was like, yeah, I'm interested. At seven fifty a pop, so you're getting what fourteen? Yeah, seven fifty, seven fifty, fifteen hundred, and what get? You know, you need to buy, spend at least 15 bucks to get that. 15 bucks to get two characters. You're chatting eight bucks a character. 
Even then, you can't. You can buy one of eight bucks. Um, you actually get a better deal. You actually bought both at the same time. No, I'm not cool with it. Uh, it, it you, you, the cost models and the actual material outside of the gameplay, it's awful. And it's definitely it's, it's one of those things where we we look at that and go, that's the EA stamp of bullshit that make, is going to make people get a bit over the game. I like the characters. I love them bits so far. I'm actually liking the gameplay. I'm enjoying the gameplay loop, and it feels and entertaining. But I, it's, I'm my I, the scales are falling off the eyes after a full day's play, and I'm seeing what um, a gain has been from matches. And I'm not I, I mean, I, because I'm not a great player at these games and uh, to the whole genre. I'm finding I'm, I'm no I'm going to actually burn out on what's actually available and in the game to actually entertain me and keep me along and what they what their profit model is going to be from it. What I think sh Apex should be doing is making an announcement for a more characters immediately since you're going like two legends that are unlocked or they're unlockable. We there, there's going to be more. Just those are the two that we actually had added into the last minute. Kind of want to get or to kind of like choose out those characters because they got a very particular set of skills. We we're going to plan to do as many more legends in the future, and we're going to talk about them as we come along. And doing a founders pack where you buy those up rather than actually like nickel and dimes or tenorous ten pound a pop for a character, eight pound. You know, like seven hundred fifty. The, the 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 credit line on those is just at that awkward point. I know you can buy them with Indian currency, but I mean, it doesn't gain very quick, you know? Legend tokens don't gain very quick. You're chatting 12,000, and that's 1,200. <laughs> and um, I, 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 just, it, the time investment, not there yet for me. So yeah, recommend taking a look at Apex for your entertainment value. This could very well be a flash in the pan for respawn, and I'm sad that that's going to be the case because the cost modeling, looking at the pricing for things, I'm not interested at all in that. So for a little bit of an entertaining kind of drop into, on board, but I could very quickly be going back to Paladins in a couple of days if this doesn't, if they if they don't kind of work this out a little bit. I highly, highly recommend Apex race and question this like their founders pack specifically it's it's the one it's the thing that actually kind of made me start questioning this and then start looking at it and going like right I, i've been looking blind i've been paying no attention to these things it's not working out for me so far um hopefully feel free to jump in and catch me online i'm going to be playing a bit of apex for the rest of the day i'm going to be playing for the next couple of days kind of get more enjoyment out of it but uh, it's always better with a group of friends and always better with a squad that talks to each other so if you see me about jump in the voice chat and i will see you all there thanks very much for watching and i will see all you dudes in the next video bye